I'm here in the Connell Science Lab, which opened nearly 45 years ago. At Ashbury, we're looking at redoing our science facilities in one location for senior school with our exciting new Centre for Science and Innovation. So one thing as a head of department I'm really looking forward to with the new building is having a lot more collaborative teaching. So being able to have all of the science department in one space, shared offices and all very close to each other, we're going to be able to share kit, we're going to be able to share ideas of what works and experiments that we do in one class that actually also has application in other classes and try and help tie the sciences together. What I love about science most is just the kind of problem-solving nature that it has to it and you just have to think up all of the little clues that you've picked up throughout uh, what you've learned so far and you just kind of try to piece it all together to come up with with a new discovery and I guess what I also love about science is just the experimenting part of it you just uh, get on there and just try 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 again um, and hopefully discover something new. I've had the pleasure of working with some truly brilliant innovators over my career. Electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, physicists, chemists, material scientists. And even though these people come from a wide spectrum of backgrounds and personalities, they all had one thing in common, a passion for science. And that passion didn't just come to them randomly in adulthood. The spark that ignited that flame came in high school or even earlier and it came about as a result of an amazing learning experience. Let's give our children an amazing learning experience in science, and let's do it today. The new Center for Science and Innovation will be a capstone to our programs and facilities. Capturing the awe of the sciences in Ashbury's classes can only further inspire our students as innovators and discoverers in improving the world.